around and just face so we do a nose to nose. Sure. Well, I didn't expect this this morning, Marcus. <laughs> you know what? Neither did I. <laughs> That noise is my key. There's our people. And I'm in a rush. This way, looks for a minute. First thing this morning, I mean first thing, it was like half five, six. Uh, we had a team turn up to detail the cars. So every car, I mean, is looking absolutely beautiful. Despite the fact that I'm sure you've seen if you watched yesterday's video, we've got some, uh, pretty nasty driving conditions. But today, this so clean. Anyway, we're off to Bugatti. Let's hit it. Yes, Bugatti. We're heading to Bugatti. It's not Bugatti. Go, cool. how is it? It's Bugatti. 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 It's a problem. When you spend time with Arabic people, you pick up on their accent. I've been starting to roll my R's lately and saying. Roll your R's. Roll my R's. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very dirty, James. <laughs> I don't think it's like. I think oh, you have to. What you <laughs> How do you roll your R's? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, so yes, anyway. Oh, so, so so you've had the you've had the incredibly fortunate experience of being in one. Yes. And explain that to me. <laughs> I feel it. In that well, department. there you go. I mean, yeah, I know was, how you feel. I mean, people who regularly watch this channel will know there are occasions where I struggle, the, I have not the words no, to, like, look, you, to let you know what's going even, on. Even if you've been in, in the fastest car, yeah, like in a 2000 horsepower you know, Nissan or, uh, yeah. or any of these Thing. crazy yeah. stuff, you always have struggled with traction. Yes. And the weird thing with the Bugatti is... No slip. It, it doesn't have any problem with traction. So it can apply and, and all plus, of the horsepower. And plus because the car weighs, you know, a bit. Yeah, they're so, quite heavy. So the tires struggle more to lose traction. Yes. And that results in... Immense In one direction. <laughs> That's you. Um, then your garage obviously is still empty, but we, it's, it's you know we don't configure one car. Okay. Sometimes we have up to seven. So. Oh really? Is it? So you can store seven configurations. If you like. So we have three different categories that you start with. Uh -huh. Classic, which is really classic, like the Veyron was. Yeah. So the the red and black and the yeah, blue wow. and not black but dark blue. Yeah. New interpreted. Um, then rather classic designs with. The, the classic wheel finish um, course, which is just a little bit more uh, sportive, sportive okay. looks. Black and is this, a, is this only specs in terms of colors, fabrics, etc.? There's no difference in the physical design of the car in terms Color and trim of options. No, no split of differences on sport or anything like that. Yeah, color and trim options only. Okay. Exactly. But um, yeah, so it's just to, just to roughly predefine which way you're going. We, can, uh -huh. we individualize each and every one of them anyway, but it's just to sort of say, okay, if you're saying, for example, here you have. It's a single tone uh -huh. um, with a horizontal split, which means the lower part is in carbon fiber. Yes. 
Um, so um, that's the basis to start off with. I'm saying I don't like the two-tone thing on the car. Yeah. Um, some don't want the signature line exposed, so you can start with something like this, for example, where sure. it's hidden away. It basically follows the the back yeah. color. Interesting. So it's just a just a yeah. nice way to show what's there, and then basically what you do is you just you just start loading wow. this up, and then you start diving into really <laughs> spending the spend hours on this. Or <laughs> days. Yeah. Wow. And I love how it renders in real time on the mm. big screen. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and it's just this as easy as a swipe nice. and a tap. Um, so you can either just confirm by pushing this, uh -huh. and then you go. Through, it takes you through all the options you have to choose. Or if you click on this, then you, you can start, start to start playing around and adjusting things. Monotone, duo tone. Yeah. Duo tone, of course, being what you want. So yeah. I don't know if you got. If you got. Uh, I, do you know what? I really, I really like the. Um, Silver outside, okay, but with <laughs> with uh, exposed blue carbon on the back. Okay, that looks okay. pretty rad. So, but earlier on, you you were saying you tend to advise to spec darker at the back. Darker at the back, definitely. So I would I would definitely go for the dark blue in the back. Yeah, and then the. Um, the silver option, sorry. And is that purely from an aesthetic point of view? It balances the, the car. Balances better. the car better, exactly. Because yeah. um, the car, brighter cars, cars and bright colors tend to look bigger. So yes. if you start adding bright colors to the back, you're growing, growing larger, the back yeah. and you're shrinking the front because you're using a dark color. So it's putting the car, putting yeah. a little bit out of proportion because the car has that. It does have this lovely thrust. rake on it, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah. So if you start taking that away, and start lifting the front and lowering the back. It, yeah. just, it puts it out of proportion. I mean, that's... Mm, well, we're, we're, you get, yeah. so, so not quite a lot to work with. Yeah. Here, so you, we still have some other things to choose from. So very strong, significant is this line here. The classic version is aluminium. I mean, that's, um, that's it. But you can't go wrong with that. That's a it. A nice touch also, sure. just to show you, yeah. is doing this in the color of the front Ooh, part. That's interesting. Uh, this becomes, let me just uh, give the wheels a neutral color. This is probably one of the one of the best views. I mean, look at that. The stance is unbelievable. <laughs> uh, you just see a dark red stripe underneath, uh, yeah, the, underneath the wing. The and then of course the, the surrounding yeah. bits. <laughs> Don't forget, we have a real one here. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this here is brake light and also indicator. It comes up. I don't think it does on this. Car. I think on on camera. I'm not sure if this is coming through, but the amount of sculpture this had that I find that on pictures is actually quite flat. I'm not sure if this gives it any sort of, you know, perspective in the, how much sculpture and depth it's got. That was a very close up of the bit. <laughs> you know, it's just. It's so swooping that I'm finding that on, on photos it's not really doing it, but in person it's stunning. Detail on this. Look at the crease line that follows through on the exhaust. On the car outside you have a lovely Bugatti. Oh, really? Tiny Bugatti logo. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing which I really love about this car. It's yeah. just, it's take off. Huh? And even now you feel, I mean, we're in race mode now, but let me just, oh, wait. I'll just flip this back to it. Be, it is, so, the interior is so beautiful. I think that's the beauty of this car is that, you know, tied together with how ballistically fast it is, it drives like a GT car. Yeah. It's comfortable yeah. and luxurious. Yeah, quiet well. it is. It's just it's stunning. Even here, I mean, it's carbon chassis. If there's no, there's no it's noise not, from the. No. Normally, you have the stone chips in the. Yeah. The I mean, if you you know liken it with the P1, that thing's so loud. Yeah. This yeah. thing's very refined and beautiful. I can't get over the, the amount of sculpture on this. The, the pictures just don't do it any justice. No. When you see one in person, it's phenomenal. Well, 
I didn't expect this this morning, Marcus. <laughs> you know what? Neither did I. <laughs> Yesterday, Faisal told me that when they spoke on the phone, you were like, we don't have any Chirons around. We don't have any Chirons. Yeah, they're, all, they're all being <laughs> delivered. Or all <laughs> we were all like, oh. And then this morning when we drove to the gate, we were like, yay! <laughs> heading directly to Geneva we decided well Marcus from Bugatti has decided that he, we should follow him and wind our way up a stunning mountain road and we've met the snow it's like I can't escape the snow this year just stepped off the snow tour with Team Gallag now I'm practically back on it again albeit with another amazing bunch of cars and people so I think we're kind of halfway there now but just check out how picturesque this place is the cars in this environment particularly the P1 and XJ220 so abstract Faisal's well, going to try and fly the drone in the snow on a mountainside following cars while we're driving yeah 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 baby sounds like a great idea doesn't it <laughs> yeah up to you have a backup drone anyway so that's no we don't this is the backup what happened to the other one you forgot you crashed it already no you don't remember our, our, our adventure oh so you got two boxes that's why i thought yeah, There's no, that, that's the other box. So oh. The extra battery and the extra rotors <laughs> and and that type of crap. Okay, needless to say, Faisal's track we'll record of drone pilots. Uh, oh yeah, drone it's, piloting it's, it's, isn't the smoothest. No, no, it is very smooth. You think so? Yeah, but I went the wrong direction. I tell you what is smooth. This V12 engine. You ready? <sighs> Just that <FB. laughs> Gimbal Roll Beach Limited, okay. You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension of sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. <laughs> Ah, yeah! <laughs> yes! Now that's cool. You know you're balling when you're landing your drone on your Ferrari. 